This is Memorial Park, one of the largest urban parks in America and one of the most popular parks in the city of Houston. It was established nearly 100 years ago, but the history of this land goes back even further. From 1917 to 1923, this was Camp Logan, a World War I U.S. Army training camp with a tumultuous history in itself, and if you know where to look, you can still find the remnants of the encampment that once stood here. Let's look at how Camp Logan endured the global and local chaos that defined the day, what remains 100 years later, and the fate of this historic site. As the U.S. entered into World War I, the Defense Department looked to Houston for its potential to help the war effort. Camp Logan was established in May of 1917 on what was then the outskirts of the city, and covered much of the current area of Memorial Park as well as 1,500 additional acres of what is today much of the surrounding neighborhood. Local laborers began construction on the complex's infrastructure, including a hospital, post office, YMCA, and tent cities designed to house 40,000 troops. Three months later, as the complex neared completion, tensions boiled on the outskirts of Camp Logan. The camp was guarded by the 3rd Battalion of the 24th Infantry Regiment, a group of black soldiers and white officers who had previously been stationed in New Mexico during the Mexican Revolution. Although they had experienced segregation there, they did not face the animosity that greeted them in Houston, then a city of less than 150,000. After numerous confrontations and mistreatment at the hands of local police, as well as the arrest and falsely rumored death of an infantryman, over 150 soldiers raided Camp Logan's munitions and marched on the city of Houston in retribution. White citizens in the path of the march armed themselves, and the infantrymen waged an attack on police and those who tried to intervene. When the dust settled, 11 civilians, 5 police officers, and 4 soldiers were dead. By most accounts, all the soldiers died in the chaos from friendly fire. Sergeant Vita Henry, the group's leader, killed himself after the soldiers returned to camp, burdened by the death of his own men. The city declared martial law the following day, and the 3rd Battalion members not in custody were sent back to New Mexico. Though the mutiny was chaotic, it started a surge of racial activism in Texas. That was standing, 19 soldiers were executed and 41 sentenced to life in prison for their actions in a military trial that drew input as high up as President Woodrow Wilson. Although the completed camp was filled after the mutiny, including thousands of black soldiers, there were no notable uprisings through the end of the war. There was, however, a different problem that would plague the camp, the Spanish flu of 1918. Camp Logan had pulled troops from across the country for training and became the site of the first outbreak in Houston. In order to minimize demoralization of the war effort, the U.S. intentionally suppressed initial news about the flu, and Army doctors had six soldiers sent out to civilian hospitals and care homes to minimize the effect on the camp, a move that would essentially accelerate spread into the community. Information gathered was limited, but it is estimated that over 50 soldiers died of the flu at Camp Logan, and thousands of residents and civilians were infected. The camp continued to be used through the end of World War I. In 1924, six years after the end of the war, Will and Mike Hogg purchased 1,500 acres of the camp's original 3,000 and soon thereafter sold it to the city of Houston at cost. The city turned it into a park, named Memorial, to honor the soldiers who died in World War I. The complex of buildings constructed for the training camp were largely demolished after the war as Memorial Park took shape. Due to the nature of the camp and the urgency of the war effort, the buildings had been constructed quickly and primarily out of wood, meaning there are few remnants of the once expansive camp. The largest group of building remains are located on the west end of the complex site along the railroad tracks that bisect the park. These concrete foundations and long abandoned sewer system supported bathhouse structures used by the soldiers and rows of adjacent tents. Despite nearly a hundred years of disregard and natural reclamation, the concrete here is still in decent shape, although protruding bushes and trees have split slabs apart over time. Memorial Park is currently undergoing a multi-year, multi-million dollar master-planned revamp that will touch nearly every corner of the park, including the bathhouse foundations. Though the details of how the remains will be presented in the Memorial Groves section of the park are still being determined, 
I'm happy to report that the remains of Camp Logan are slated to be an integral part of the new layout. A construction date for this area of the park has not been set, so for now you can still experience the remains of Houston's only military camp as ruins, a piece of history hidden just out of view of the thousands of people that fill Memorial Park every day. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel and join me on the next adventure. Thank you.